What's going on guys? In today's video we're going to be learning how to draw a shoe silhouette in Adobe Illustrator that looks something like this. Now there's two ways you can approach this tutorial. You can take a shoe from the internet that you really like and copy that, which is probably what I would recommend to start off with. Uh, or you can actually just draw your own shoe, uh, which is super fun as well and which I've spent a ton of time doing myself. But for this video I'm just going to be walking through how to do it with something from the internet because there's a couple more little steps for that. Uh, and it's a good way to kind of like introduce yourself to drawing footwear. The best way in my opinion to learn how to draw footwear is to trace a bunch of existing footwear and kind of learn the proportions and things like that. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video, but if you've had some experience drawing shoes in the past, feel free to, you know, design your own. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's jump into the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously open up Adobe Illustrator. Uh, it doesn't really matter what size document you make this. Um, I'm just going to do a thousand by a thousand, so it's something that you could easily post on Instagram. Um, but like I said, really doesn't matter what size you decide to do. And the first thing you're going to do is take your image that you've downloaded from the web of your shoe and place it in Adobe Illustrator. One thing to remember when selecting your image is that a silhouette is technically a side view of the shoe. So you only see the side of the shoe that faces outwards on your foot. So if it was on your left foot, you'd see the left side of the shoe. So when you're selecting your image from the internet, make sure you have one that's just like a straight 90 degree view. Uh, this is gonna work best for this process. If you start getting into something that's 3D, you're gonna kinda need to shade more. So for this tutorial, you're gonna wanna stick with something that's a flat 90 view. Those are pretty easy to find on the internet. Uh, and once you have that image selected of your shoe, you're going to drag that directly into Illustrator and trace all of the key lines with the pen tool. So you just hit P on your keyboard to select it quickly or else you can go over and select it from the sidebar. I'm not going to go over too much on how to use the pen tool in this video because uh, I'm assuming that most of you who are watching this already know how to use the pen tool. But if you don't know how to use it, there's a ton of other great videos on YouTube that explain how to use it pretty well. I'll leave one of those linked below. Okay, so yeah, you basically just trace the entire object within Illustrator. You're going to want to make sure you get the stitch lines as well as all of the other like key compartments of color and different material. So I'll leave this playing for a moment so you can kind of see all the lines that I did. Now that you have your shoe all traced and ready to go, what you can do is select all of your lines that you just drew, go to Object, Live Paint, and Make. This will group everything together so that you can actually fill each of these shapes with color. One key thing to make sure of is that, that all of the lines are actually touching each other or connected. Uh, if they're not actually touching each other or connected, this live paint tool will end up filling shapes that you don't want to be filled necessarily. So you need to make sure that everything is totally connected, otherwise you're going to get some wonky stuff. So when you draw your lines, just make sure they're touching another line or you know making a full shape basically. So once you have your object made and ready to start painting, you can pull up your paint bucket or your live paint bucket with the keyboard shortcut K. Just hit K and you'll be able to start filling different shapes. The most efficient way I've found to do this is actually just by 
clicking I on the keyboard, which will bring up your eyedropper tool. Then you can select a color within the image. And then once you have that color selected, you just hit K on your keyboard and click a shape within uh, the shoe that you just drew. Uh, that will fill that shape that you drew with the color you just selected from the image. And it's a pretty quick way to add color to your image. So now we're basically just gonna go through and make sure we color the whole shoe. Uh, you're gonna need to sometimes play with some of these colors, like adjust them up and down to get them to your liking. The eyedropper tool selects like a really specific color within the image and sometimes you need to play with it to kind of make it match the, you know, the overall color of it. Once you have your shoe fully drawn, I would probably add a background. To do that quickly, you can hit M on the keyboard, which will bring up the rectangle tool, or else you can just go over to the rectangle tool over on the sidebar and cover your shape and pick whatever background color you like. But definitely try to make sure it goes with your shoe, obviously. Then what you do after that is pull up the ellipse tool, which is L as a shortcut. Otherwise, you can go again over to your side toolbar and draw an ellipse that is a little bit of a darker shade of the background color. I really like the look of making the shoe kind of almost look like it's levitating a little bit. So what I like to do is actually move the shadow rather than directly below the shoe, maybe like uh, an inch or so below it. So again, it kind of makes the shoe look like it's floating. Uh, I think it's a really cool look and that's my personal preference, but like I said, you could try to adjust the shadow so it makes it look like it's laying on a flat plane. If you're gonna go that route, maybe just like draw a line or something like that. Um, but I'm gonna go with the circle and then if you feel like you can sign your work at the bottom And then the last thing that I'm gonna do for this design is actually add the Air Jordan logo uh, Up in the upper of the shoe. So what we're gonna do So this is gonna be dependent on obviously whatever shoe you're drawing what logo you're gonna need But you can just basically download like a PNG of the logo from the internet And if you need to you can adjust the color of it uh, in Photoshop and then yeah, you just Place it on the drawing in about the same spot that it should go on the shoe, and you're pretty much done. Another quick thing you can do to make the shoe kind of like pop off the background and look a little bit more realistic than it would if you didn't do this is by varying the stroke weight a little bit. So usually what I like to do is actually double the outer stroke uh, from what you're using as the inside detail lines as well as some of those under shadow lines. So say if you have like a big part in the shoe like where um, you know the sole meets the upper, you can like draw like a thicker dividing line so maybe raise it to two points if your original line was at one point uh, and then it'll kind of like almost create a little bit of a shadow within the image without actually like hand airbrushing in a shadow in photoshop uh, it kind of gives like a graphic shadow feel so that's another thing you can do to kind of make uh, the shoe pop a little bit but yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up for this video i appreciate anybody who's watched this far through and definitely feel free to share some designs with me if you make any and post them on Instagram. Uh, I'd love to see your work, see what you do with this tutorial. Uh, like I said, this is kind of like a quick, rough way of doing this. Uh, it can definitely be touched up if you wanted to bring it into Photoshop and make it more realistic, or you could go back and actually like add stitching to these. There's a bunch of other stuff you could do to make it more realistic, but this is like a fun, quick way to like sketch out a shoe, or maybe you like a silhouette of a shoe that you've seen before and you want to adjust some of the colors, play with the design. Uh, this is a super fun and quick way to do it. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.